This video is sponsored by Wondershare. PDF Element is a software developed by Wondershare, providing one of the smoothest, fastest, and most seamless experiences in creating, editing, annotating, and converting PDF files. So in short, PDF Element is a much more affordable alternative to PDF editors such as Adobe Acrobat. PDF Element is available across all platforms, Windows, Android, Mac OS, iOS. So uh, now let me show you some of the features. Do you want to maybe change up the text, change the font, change the size? PDF Element. Want to resize the image, maybe give it a crop? PDF Element. Want to convert your PDF file into a Word, PowerPoint, or Excel document? PDF Element. Want to mark up some notes or handwritten points over the document? PDF Element. Want to password protect and encrypt your PDF file? PDF Element. Want to edit a physical document, scan it, and make your edits? PDF Element. Want to add comments to your PDF files for the sake of team efficiency? PDF Element. You want an affordable software that performs all of these features? One word. PDF Element. A big thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Alright, A, admit it, this is a great shot. B, if you want to know how I got to make this incredibly awesome looking setup, then, well yeah, I'm going to show you, so uh, let's dive into it. So as you can see, this is an iOS 14 based setup. You got those widgets, you got the iOS icons, except there is a twist. You can obviously see that it is a very dark black and white approach, mainly black. And credit where credit is due, this was kind of inspired by Android output on Instagram. Go check them out if you want to, but it looks really, really cool. And I wanted to show you. Now, first thing you're going to need is a number of apps and a black and white wallpaper. So an app where you can get a number of quality wallpapers is called Wally. But if you want this exact wallpaper, there is a link in the description below. And well, for the rest of the apps, number one, you're going to need Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher is free. Go ahead and get that. And I got to be honest with you, this entire video isn't exactly free, but you're going to be spending just under about five pounds or dollars for a quality setup that's going to last you for life. My opinion, worth it. For the icons, you're going to need iOS 14 black icon pack. This is paid, but if you have the patience and you have the skill, then you can make your set of icons in Photoshop and just import them onto your phone if you want to. But yeah, that's what you need for the icons. You also need KWGT for the widgets, and you also need KWGT Pro, which is paid. On top of that, the final paid app is iOS widgets for KWGT. And that's it for the apps that you need. And having downloaded those apps, that is all you need to be able to create this setup. Now, the last step that you need to do is follow the step-by-step -step instructions that I'm about to give you in order to create this incredibly unique, beautiful, dark, just, just amazing setup. So, um, yeah, let's dive into it. So with everything downloaded, all you need to do is open Nova Launcher, do all the default settings except for your theme, change it to dark, and then go into your settings by holding on the home screen, click select default launcher and choose Nova Launcher. Then remove everything off of the home screen. Go into your settings, go into home screen, dock, and disable the dock. Once you've done that, head into look and feel from the main settings, go into icon style, change the icon pack to iOS 14 black icons, change the shape to rounded square, enable reshape legacy icons and disable normalize icon size head back into look and feel scroll to the bottom go into app search background color and change the color to 85 85 85 set that and then that's all you need to do for look and feel now we're back in the main settings go into the home screen change the grid to 7x4 head into icon layout change the size to 145 percent and disable labels then click onto padding and change the size to large by large. Click done, make sure search bar placement is none, and then go into page indicators and use the three dots. Now remain in the home screen settings and then scroll all the way up and click on dock. Once you're in the dock, enable it and then change the dock icons to four and the icon layout to match the desktop with labels off. Make sure the padding is large by large. Click done and then head into dock background. Once you're in dock background, hit custom and then make sure all the settings are on round. Tick padding and make sure all the percentages are at 60%. Then click done, making sure your transparency is in 0%. Then hit into the color icon, go into the setting in the bottom right and make sure your color is 1F, 1F, 1F. Then you're done with that, making sure all the settings are right. Head into the main settings and go into app drawer. 
your default grid size should be 6x5 make sure it is if it isn't then head into icon layout untick match desktop size make the icon size 130 percent and disable labels then go into background color and use the same color that we used for the app search background which was 85 85 85 make sure the top bar is search and then go into search bar style use the round option click the magnifying glass and then make sure the transparency is zero percent and go into the color and make sure it is zero 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 then back into app drawer make sure swipe up to close is enabled and make sure page indicator is ticked off so you know not ticked and make sure the scroll accent color is 0a0a0a a, a. set that and that's it for the app drawer now heading into folders then click into windows style make sure the mode is immersive make sure card background is on make sure the corner radius is 26 dp and the transparency is zero percent make sure the grid is three by three and make sure the scroll is horizontal then head back into folders and then icon layout make sure labels are off and it's 145 percent make the transition animation zoom then in folder icon appearance make it line make it rounded untick clip to background and make the color 85 85 85 press ok set it and you're good and finally make sure the transparency is zero percent then that's you for folders Head back into the main settings and then go into the search bar at the top and search for Google and then you'll come up with this option saying Google Discover. Click on Google Discover and it will take you to this link to download Nova Google Companion. Press download Nova Google Companion. Press download again if you get the option. Make sure it downloads and then when you can press open, install. It's going to load for a few seconds. Open it again. Press OK and then head back into Nova Launcher settings head into integrations if it's not already there tick google discover make sure the theme is dark and the transition is overlay and then finally go into main settings then gestures and input make sure the swipe down is set to expand notification make sure double tap is set to open the app search and make sure swipe up is set to open the app drawer then that's it for the settings and now let's make the home screen Obviously, it's up to you what you do with your home screen, but I got Chrome, camera, phone, and messages for the dock, and then you can get eight apps, put them in two by twos in the top left and the bottom right of the home screen. Then, hold on a home screen, go into widgets, and scroll down to KWGT widgets. Choose two by two KWGT or four by two if you want a different widget. Now, if you're going to do two by twos, get four of them, put them in place, hold on to them, and press padding for each single one. Then, click on them and you will get to choose from the widgets that we got earlier so choose your widgets for each individual one once you choose one go into globals and untick labels so it looks cleaner press save and you're done now just do this for each one of the kwgt widgets and that is literally it if you want to do a second home screen you can do a second home screen but that is how you do it you got the google discover you got the app drawer you got the home screen and you got the app search so that's that i hope you guys were able to follow along and it was a bit quick but uh yeah that's the setup that's how you make it i saw it once on instagram i decided it was worth trying out i tried to make it and it ended up working out really well and i was like yo let's make a video so i hope it was worth it i have done an unboxing on the note 20 ultra along with many other tech videos but if you haven't seen the unboxing yet it is in the top right corner so go check it out and a review is coming out soon next up we're getting the galaxy z fold 2 as soon as it ships out Please, 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 please subscribe if you haven't already because it really helps me out. And especially liking and commenting, that really helps as well with the algorithm and pushing out the video in order for me to just grow. Also, I recommend you checking out my Instagram and Twitter at the Romeo Nagar, especially my Instagram. Load a tech in your feed, behind the scenes, all of that. You know what's coming up with my videos. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. See then. I stay waiting for you